Yo, what's going on guys? Taco here, and I'm back with another Ring of Elysium video. This video is going to be all about attachments. Before I start, I just want to say thank you so much for the constant support on my videos, and subscribe if you want to get notified of my next upload. Also, keep in mind that a lot of my videos are targeted at newer players, but that doesn't mean you won't learn something new if you're experienced in the game. Let's get started. Alright, first, we're going to take a look at the muzzle attachments. For the muzzle, you have three options. Silencer, Compensator, and Flash Hider. If possible, I would always equip a silencer, no matter the weapon or range. If a silencer isn't available, you have two choices left. Either compensate recoil, or hide your gun's flash. There is only two times I would choose a flash hider over a compensator, if given the opportunity, and that would be with the Remington 700 and the M200. The reason I would choose a flash hider with these is because the fire rate is so slow that a compensator doesn't even affect the recoil. On every AR, SMG, and semi-automatic sniper rifle, I would go with a compensator. On shotguns, you have one option, the choke. Okay, let's take a look at grips. With the grips, you have two options, vertical or horizontal. The vertical grip reduces more vertical recoil, and the horizontal grip reduces less vertical recoil, but also reduces some horizontal recoil. In my opinion, you would be fine going with either, but I choose the vertical grip, because with the weapons that can have grips, I do not notice much, if any, horizontal recoil. For magazines, you only have one option, which is the extended mag. There's also only one kind of stock, and you can only use it on two weapons, the M4 and the Vector. Okay, now let's talk about scopes. For the close range, you can either have the red dot, hollow sight, or the two times. For very close combat, I choose the red dot as it is the cleanest of the three and doesn't zoom in as far as the two times. At medium range, red dots and hollows can still work, but are usually outdone by the two times and the four times. If possible, I use the four times. At long ranges, the four times and the eight times do well, and I pick up an eight times at every opportunity. My loadout usually goes as follows. On SMGs, I try to get a red dot. On ARs, I try to get a red dot and a four times if possible. Red dot and two times is also good. And lastly, on sniper rifles, I try to get a four times and an eight times. Okay, so that's it for this video. If this video helped you out at all and you would like to see more, be sure to subscribe and comment on what you would like to see next. See you guys next time.